I am going to teach you about fragments life cycle. Hello guys and welcome to Master Android channel. In this tutorial we are going to talk about fragments life cycle and how they work. Uh, if you if this is your first time uh, in this channel, please uh, subscribe to get the latest tutorials and uh, daily uploads. So let's begin. As we learned before about activity life cycle, let's move on and learn about fragments cycle. A fragment is added to a view group inside the activity. So an Android fragment is a GUI component which can live inside an activity. An, active, an Android fragment is not by, it, by itself a subclass of a view which most other GUI components are. So instead, a fragment has a view inside it. It is the view, it's, it is this view which is eventually displayed inside the activity in which the fragments live. So what are, what this means? Because an Android fragment is not a view, adding it to an activity looks somewhat different but then uh, adding a view example text view a fragment is added to a view group inside the activity and the fragment view is displayed inside the view group the following diagram shows that what happens when you add a fragments to an activity this is the activity adding fragment goes to the fragment then passing to the fragment view the fragment view is displayed inside the view group per and for the fragment view now first a fragment is added to an activity this kicks off the fragments life cycle second the methods on attach on create on create a view on activity created on start and on resume are called the on create and on activity created is called when the hosting the hosting activity is fully created don't worry we will this, uh, clarify these example, uh, these uh, methods, and these lessons in the, in the next uh, video about making a real app, a real fragment app, which uh, this, uh, con contains and summarize all of these concepts. So uh, make sure you subscribe below to get all of these lessons and all updates about daily new uh, videos we ha we will upload. Then, if the fragment is removed from the hosting activity or activity hosting fragment is moved to the background of the app, another activity is moved to the foreground, then the on pause, on stop, and on destroy view methods are called the same as uh, activity. So they are uh, nearly approximately uh, uh, similar. If the fragment is returned to visibility, the fragment may transition from on destroy view to on create view and become visible again. An Android fragment has a life cycle which is similar to the activity life cycle. The fragment life cycle is illustrated here. Fragment is added on attach, on create method, on create view, and on, create, on activity create. Back to on start and on resume, on pause, on stop on destroy view, on destroy, uh, and on detach, fragment destroyed. So this is the cycle. It's very good to, uh, to learn uh, this and uh, make sure uh, uh, that you understand this concept because it's very important to know how fragments works and what, uh, what is the correct method that you need to uh, to uh, put your code inside it whenever you need to to make so these methods are on attach this method uh, will be called first even before on create method uh, letting you uh, letting us know that your fragment has been attached to an activity you are past the activity and then uh, that will host your fragment on, on create view method, the system will call this callback when that it's time 
for the fragment to draw its UR for the first time. On on view created method, this method will be called after on create view. This is particularly useful when inheriting on the on create view implementation. But we need to configure the resulting views such as uh, with uh, the list fragment and when to set up an adapter. On activity created method, this method will be called after on create a method and on create view to indicate that the activity on the on create a method has completed. If there is a, a, something that's uh, needed to be initialized in the fragment, that depends upon that for activities on on create method having completed its work, then on cre an activity created can be used for that initialization work. I know it may be confusing for you, but don't worry, we will we will make sure that you understand every concept by a real example made in next video. So subscribe below or and rate us five stars. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube channel, Android Master app, and uh, go and rate us five stars on Play Store and uh, on the course. So on start method, on start method is called once the fragments gets visible. The on pause the system calls the method at the first indication that the user is leaving the fragment. This is usually when and where you should commit any changes that should be persisted beyond the current user session. On stop method, a fragment going to be stopped by calling on stop. On destroy view, it's called before on destroy method. This is a counterpart to on create method where we set up the UI. If there are things that are needed to be cleaned up specific to the UI, then that logic can be put up into up in uh, on destroy view. An on destroy called to the final cleanup of the fragment state, but not guaranteed to be called by the Android platform. On detach, it is called after on destroy to notify that the fragment has been dissociated from its hosting activity. So keep uh, Keep uh, all uh, uh, review first of all. Uh, review all of this uh, this uh, video. Take notes, and if you want this uh, documentations, you can go to mess uh, to Android uh, to um, to the Android uh, Play Store uh, on Play Store, and you can download the Master Android uh, app. So we uh, all these lessons are written. So if you want to uh, go to Master Android uh, page on uh, Play Store, search for Master Android and Master Android Pro, go to Android course and select the section number uh, four, advanced views. And here we go, the page 48, if you need the fragments life cycle. So these lessons are written here. Now, um, subscribe below to get the next uh, lessons will be summarizing and getting more information about fragments because we are uh, going to deal with uh, fragments and make a real app that works on Android Studio. So again guys, if you are not understanding what's happening, uh, don't worry, everything will be clarified. Now, as a summary for the fragments lifecycle, here we go, we started by, by here, the activity, adding fragment, the fragment, then fragment view, the fragment view is displayed in the view group. So the fra the, uh, as a summary for uh, methods in Android, fragment, an Android fragment has a life cycle which is similar to the activity life cycle. The fragment is life cycle is here illustrated fragment added when you add a fragment the on attach method is called second in the on create method on create view on activity created on start on resume then on pause 
on stop and on destroy view even so uh, if the user exits the app completely destroy it the on destroy method on detach and the fragment destroys are called now if the on, the, the user uh, is back so on destroy view will, will call uh, on create view on activity created on start and then in this loop till, till here on resume when the user on stop uh, on pause may you know, call on stop and then on destroy view thank you guys see you in next videos don't miss to rate us five stars and play store and the course and uh, subscribe to our channel to get the next uh, videos and ensure you don't miss anything thank you guys see you in next videos next video.